Workload optimization ensures consistent performance in the data centers. It works closely with DRS to ensure applications get the required resources. It enables you to move VMs across clusters to meet performance and business intent. Welcome to this video to learn more about the workload optimization feature in VCF operations. On the workload placement page, you see all the data centers that exist in your setup, their optimization status, time remaining, and potential cost savings opportunities. The data centers that need optimization are placed at the beginning of the list and are denoted as not optimized. You can click on a data center to see more details. In the middle of the screen, you see the optimization recommendations to resolve the problem of this particular data center. You can run the recommendations in three ways. To run it manually, click the Optimize Now option. To schedule the recommendation to run during one of your maintenance windows, click Schedule. To run the recommendation immediately when an optimization opportunity exists, click Automate. Before we optimize this data center, let's look at how you can set up your operational and business intent for your data center. Click Edit under Operation Intent. First, you must determine your target utilization objective for the data center. To spread workloads evenly over the available resources for improving application performance, select Balance. To minimize the workload contention, select Moderate. To place workloads into a few clusters, which reduces your cost per VM and possibly repurposes some hosts, click Consolidate. Next, you must configure the cluster headroom. Headroom allows you to define how much risk is acceptable in a cluster. It provides a buffer percentage of CPU, memory, and disk space, which helps to reduce the risk of bursts and unexpected demand spikes. For example, if you choose 15%, you will be allotted 15% headroom across each of the three types of resources. Click Save. Next, on the Business Intent panel, click Edit. We need to determine how our business needs to drive the VM placement using the vCenter tags. You can define which VM must be placed on which clusters. One of the most common use cases for this would be license enforcement. This makes sure that all your Microsoft Oracle and Linux VMs remain on specific clusters for license cost purposes. Click Save. Once you have defined your operational and business intent, you are ready to run a workload optimization. Click the Optimize Now option. You can see the workload utilization of the clusters in the data center and the projected usage after the optimization. The real-time predictive analytics used by the workload optimization looks two hours ahead to ensure workloads moved will not need to be moved again thereby avoiding the ping-pong effect. Click Next. You can view the exact moves that will be taken during the optimization action. Here you can see which VMs will be moved to which data stores or clusters. Once reviewed, click Begin Action. When the optimization finishes, you can see that this data center is now optimized. This concludes the overview of workload optimization. Thanks for watching this video.